Hello, it's Petra and it is not Wellness Wednesday, but it's Thursday. I skipped yesterday to bring you this leap year day because I thought that was a really interesting and fun opportunity to just take a look at something different. And I posted a couple of poems that I thought were really relevant on why we do it, but also to shape the vitality and energy of us to renew, to pause, to look at the reasons, simple reasons, why we do things to help ourselves and the planet. So I hope you're having a great day. It's Thursday and tomorrow is March 1st. So as I wrap up this Heart Healthy Month, I really wanted to share with you about the mudra, unconditional love, as well as we're wrapping up Satya and our Yamas and Niyamas, this week's exploration. Next month, March, we begin National Nutrition Month, and that's right up my alley. And I'm looking forward to that, as well as exploring the chakras and the next Yama. So I hope you stay tuned for that. But let's just take a listen at, to this week's uh, exploration. So get comfortable and take a moment to just let this wash over you. Get comfortable and then we'll go into the mudra. This week, look at ideas and beliefs that once served you and now have come become archaic. You may unknowingly be holding on to things that no longer serve you. and that you no longer need. Honor these beliefs because, like a vehicle, they brought you to your current place on your journey. As you let go of what no longer serves you, pay attention to where denial shows up and celebrate your movement towards a clearer, more authentic you. Watch how this exercise frees you up, your energy for the further emergence of your authentic realness. Hmm. We got into quite a conversation about this in a couple of my yoga classes. So let that percolate as we settle in to the thought of unconditional love, and this mudra, our last heart chakra. So it assists with gratitude, open heart, and empathy. It supports the cardio, respiratory, and immune systems, increases lung circulation with the chest, heart, and lungs. So here are your instructions. With the fingers pointed upward, Bring the heels of the hands together. Keeping the pinky fingers and thumbs together, spread the other fingers. Bring the hands in front of the heart, relax the shoulders down, and lengthen the spine. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. My heart blossoms open with unconditional love. Bring awareness to the heart center. Breathe softly into the heart. Feel all the space surrounding the heart begin to open with each breath. Bring to mind someone or something that you are grateful for in your life. Send love from your heart through a beautiful green thread to
to this person or situation. Allow your heart to fill with love as the green thread grows stronger. As other people or situations arise, send them a green thread from your heart as you continue this process. Send out unconditional love from the heart. My heart blooms open with unconditional love. Take a nice deep breath and let that flow. Let that flow. My heart blooms open with unconditional love. Beautiful way to end the month. Let's do a little yoga since I'm in the studio. So first, let's just, since you're sitting, all right, imagine you're sitting. Drop your head down. Release the neck and shoulders gently. Whatever feels good. Little, little movement here. Checking in. Maybe the shoulders need to be stretched. Circles. Whatever feels good. Then we'll come to standing. So we get the energy moving. So come on up. Standing for balance, so your, hand, your feet are about hip width apart, just feeling yourself grounded. And just take a breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Bring the hands to your heart center and take a pause here as you feel your heart beat. Gazing out, feel the fullness of your breath interlock and stretch those fingers up and take a pause as you come into the mountain. Notice the shifts in the hips, the feet, drop down, relax the shoulders, interlock the hands now together for a half moon stretch. Inhale, flowing exhale to the other side. back up. Let the hands come down the center line. Take a breath. Depending upon how much space you have around you, let's move into the tree so we can feel the balance. If you need your wall, you have a wall. If not, feel your balance on this, on one leg and then bring the other up. Maybe you kick stand, maybe you come up higher. Wherever you feel today, Lift up through the hip, good. And then look out, feel the arms can come up, however you feel comfortable, or you can keep them at your heart center. And just breathe. Have fun with the tree. You can move around and release when you're ready and move to the other side. Finding the balance in your body as you move through this day of light, unconditional love. Notice where the breath holds for you and just let it flow. Inhaling and exhaling, breathe. Release. What is the ground? What is the earth bringing you for this last day of February that you can nourish your body? Perhaps you have a lot going on for the end of the month. Something that you need to get off your chest. Release it. Tomorrow's a fresh start. Think about what you could do with a new day, with a new month. It's a nutrition month. 
So what can you cultivate for yourself that you can bring in? Just moving into a warrior one. Inhaling and exhaling. Just have fun with the movement in your body. Balance, integrity. Open up your stance. Five-pointed star to goddess pose. For me, nutrition comes in many ways because every day is different. And I really listen to my body and what do I need? Some days I wanna start my, my morning with a nice warm breakfast. Other days I wanna get, this is the sun breath, so I'm inhaling and exhaling as I float. I want to have a smoothie, so I want something cool and refreshing. Bring the toes together. Back to the mountain pose. Inhale the arms up. Of course, I don't have room there. <laughs> Exhale. Just a little flow, you see? Just a little energy for your day. Let the arms go. Shake it out. Come back to your intention. Maybe it's just a one word. As you feel that intention move through you, perhaps you bring in something that you're grateful for today. Take a breath. Come back to sitting, or you can remain standing. As we come back to this place, in this moment, in your body, celebrating leap year day, leap day, the month of February, heart month, and next month, nutrition, staying healthy. How can I help you? Meditate, enjoy your day, move a little, get outside and enjoy the weather. Hopefully where you are, it's pretty. It's pretty cool here in Vermont. <laughs> Take another breath as we move into a three-part breath. Inhale through your nose. Let the belly expand. Exhale through the mouth. Let the belly contract. releasing the pranayama back to your normal breath. Come back to the mudra, unconditional love, and just pause. Celebrate you. Namaste, my friends. Enjoy your day. See you next time.